Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for clicking on this video. And as you can see from the title, I'm going to see if I'm able to do a deep treatment on my hair without washing it. And then I'm going to wash my hair um, using the Aussie three minute miracle moist. I have a lot of stuff that I have to do today. So I'm trying to see if I can condense it a little bit. Old, oh, I've had this for a minute and then buy this recently. Oh, okay, that's, sorry. So you gotta shake. shake it, shake it, shake it. This is how it looks. And I just start on my ends. I don't worry about the root because I'm really conditioning the length of the hair. Um, but how I know when I need to, um, let me move up closer. Um, when I know I need to condition my hair is when my hair starts shrinking. It starts like, um, That's when I know I need to put some moisture back into this hair. Um, now I gotta run out and do some stuff, so I'm gonna plop this into like a bun um, and go do what I do. And um, I probably won't plop this in a bun. I'm gonna put a, a cap over this. What am I talking about? I'm gonna put a cap over this. And then put my um my little um I don't want to call it the slack cap because it's not that. So it's there's some definition happening. The back of my hair is the driest, and it's like a different texture than the front of my hair. So I always have to add more product. I want to spray a little bit more water as well. And then I'm not gonna show you guys doing my whole head because I just I listen, I ain't got time for that. I ain't about that life. But I take it like so, like this. So I've been pulling out some of the sh shed hairs. So as you can see, here's some of the shed hairs. So I'm pulling it out as I am putting the product in. Um, but I'm not gonna take out too much because my hair is not fully yet conditioned, so I don't wanna go pulling on my hair when it still needs to be, you know, pretty hydrated. Um, maybe I'll do a video on my favorite products that I've been using this summer to really just keep my hair nicely moisturized the way I want to. I don't know if I wanna do a twist out because I am going to the city, or if I want to just do my wash and go, I don't know. So this is one twist. What you can do, like when your ends are not going together, because mine is not, because they're still dry, so that's why it's doing it. So I will actually braid the end instead of twisting. See that? Bam, bam. It don't have to be a pretty braid, honey, because we're just trying to make sure everything stays together. All right, I want it to stay in the twist so it can start to get moisturized, let the conditioner do what it do. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Opti Moist. Okay, this is how much hair came out of that section, see? So I don't get much shed hair, not that much, because I really try to keep my hair moisturized and, um, defined during the week. I'm using bobby pin. Just put that end up and then I'm going to start on the other side, okay? Alright guys, so I'll come back on and just show you how my hair looks after I have and also let you know if this kind of worked for me doing the conditioning on um, not clean hair. Mm -hmm. Um, and if, you know, the Aussie Most Moist kind of helped me do that. All right. All right, guys. So this is how my hair looks after, um, I did my, um, co-washing. Once I washed out the, um, Aussie Three Minute Miracle, um, and just co-washed with my, um, what did I co-wash with? My Garnier, um, Deep 
nourishing conditioner. I will um, insert a picture of it somewhere here in this video. But this is how it looks. Um, and yeah, I use my Equal Solid Gel. I know people talk about they canceling it, but I'm not canceling it. Um, it works for me. I've never had any problems with it, health-wise or anything like that. So my hair is like probably only 10% dry. Um, so what I'll probably do is just put a um, plastic cap on and then put my um, silk scarf or silk bonnet on my head and go to sleep. All right. All right, guys, I'll show you how my hair looks when it's fully dried and styled. Bye.